Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture, reality TV, influencer tea every single day. So if you want the latest, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do about five videos a day, bitch. And Basically, I'm your new messy best friend, okay? I'm that messy best friend who's gonna call you at 5 a.m. and be like, bitch, did you hear the latest? Girl, yeah, that is me. <laughs> it's me, bitch, it's me. Anyways, listen, we need to talk because, um, oh, T-W, girl, I forgot how to spell. Um, <laughs> we need to talk about this ex-girlfriend of Kevin Federline um coming out and talking and saying a lot of nasty things about mr kevin federline and his parenting skills all right before we do grab a snack grab a drink get comfortable all right and again thank you guys so much for clicking on this video don't forget to subscribe and look you guys so all over twitter bitch um shout out to britney stan um they posted a couple clips of former Kevin Federline girlfriend, Casey Jordan, and her time with Britney's kids and with Kevin. This is circa 2011. Now, the reason this is probably going around and trending is because Kevin's lawyer was so quick to say that he has built such an incredible home for his children that he is the most amazing father. There's literally not another father in the world that is good enough. He is the perfect example of what a great father is. Okay, bitch, I don't know who the fuck you're lying at to, oh, but <laughs> this is some bullshit right here. All right, so listen, um, let's see this. This is such a mess. Let's see this um, clip of this interviews. And she says a lot of things. So trigger, I mean, honestly, TW, she talks about abortion. She talks about, um, um, you know, just, she talks a lot. So here we go, okay? Go. You know, you, you had the strangest life. You were dating that uh, Britney Spears uh, husband guy, Kevin Federline. People say I was dating him. You were? I never dated him. What'd I you do? fucked him. Well, how'd you meet him? Through um, his best friend. Uh, we lived in the same building. I lived at the, um, the Plaza, you know, in uh, West Hollywood. But you know what's weird? He, you were watching Britney Spears' kids for him. Yeah. And then, what? then Charlie wanted to hire <laughs> you to watch his kids, right? Yeah. He, he was like... He, he wants you to watch. You, you're, you're an alcoholic. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm alcoholic. I'm like, why are you alcoholic? Like, that's so funny. <laughs> I got the, the, case, the case that story pops up. I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Someone like just wanted to get their like two cents. Wanted to get like a hundred bucks to leak that. You Isn't know? it weird people see you and think babysitter? Like the last thing I think is babysitter with you. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Do, I I cannot be able to say How did you do with Federline with Britney Spears kids? How did you do? Like I was I didn't give a shit about Federline. Right. I all I cared about was when I went over there, I wanted to see Britney Spears' kids. I love right. Britney Spears. I was right. I was more fascinated about the kids than Federline. Did you play with the kids? Yeah, I know. They love they love going to the pool. So this is during the summertime and we had like a barbecue and everything like that. So did you actually babysit Britney Spears' kids? Yeah, because the nanny was in uh was inside cleaning and he was on the phone the whole time. Could uh, you play are they fun kids? Could you play drinking games and stuff for them or are they too young for that? <laughs> uh, uh no. Uh, no, the they're, they're kids. You were no, the kids. <laughs> the kids. So you were though, responsible with those kids. I was responsible. yeah, I was responsible. There was someone else in the pool, um, like one of his friends were in the pool playing right. with him, um, but um, I was like kind of, you know, taking care of the younger one, I uh -huh. think Jaden, Jaden James or whatever. Um, but the, the, the kids, they had really bad bottle rot. Which was bottle? That? Oh yeah, right, from well, drinking a baby bottle for too long, right? Yeah, and then, you know, like, letting them sleep with like, probably the, giving them apple juice or something right, like that, right. and then it's not, you know, brushing their teeth, I don't know. They so when did he fuck you? Oh, it was like, <laughs> well, like we, he was, he loves drinking Jack too. So right. yeah, big Jack, your Jack by the bottle. We're just sitting there. I was like, all up till like four in the morning. We're just fucking getting hammered. So that's part one. First of all, did we, did we hear about the bottle rod part? Yeah. Kevin has had almost full custody of Brittany's children. She probably saw them once or twice a week on a supervised visit. Kevin put them to sleep every night. Kevin, girl, did you brush their teeth when they were young? I think not. 
This is the second part. Now listen, you guys, I just wanted to watch this together. It probably doesn't look that good with me doing like this, but it's just like, you know, it's a fun thing to do together. So, you know, pardon the, 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 the quality, but it's just so we can have our reactions together, okay? So this is part two. Um, and then finally, like, we, we, so we go to, like, the kids' room, the kids' playroom. He, like, he, like, lays down, like, a blanket, like a kid's blanket. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, I can't even go to your bedroom. on the kid's blanket. I was like, why would I, like, why can't we go to, like, your bedroom or something? Like, what's going on, you know? So we do, you know, we do that, we're doing that, and then all of a sudden the baby monitor goes off. <laughs> and so yeah, as, as it's going off, he's like, okay, I'm going to finish, you know? Yeah. And as so he finishes, he pulls out, and he goes, uh oh, I'm like what? What? He's like I don't know where the condom went. I'm like, oh, oh fuck. No. Yeah, because I'm on birth control. Because that shit makes me whack on my mind. You want your birth control? All right. So the rest of the of the interview, guys, it's like ten seconds. It only talks about how she um, has had abortions twice in Oregon, and that it, she was late three weeks, and then it turned out she just kind of had like a little miscarriage. Um, but that's it. She doesn't really spill that much other tea. Um, let me just. <laughs> First of all, they did it in Britney's kids' playroom. Britney's kids' playroom. That's what he would take these people. Now listen, like she said, she was not the girlfriend. She just wanted to have sex with him, okay? She just wanted to fuck him. That's what she said, all right? She was just fucking him. So who other, who, some, probably so many others that he is hooking up with and having them watch his kids at the pool while the nanny's inside cleaning he's on the phone and then drinking jack until 4 a.m and not brushing their fucking teeth and then having sex where they play and losing the damn condom girl listen now of course i you know I, this is all alleged this is her truth this is what she had to say but if this is true i just feel like how the hell is, is, you know, first of all, no parent is perfect. I'm not here to judge parenting. But if you're going to call somebody out and you're going to say that you are Mr. Saint and that you've lived for your children and you haven't done anything shady or crazy for your, you know, against your children and you've just been perfect, well, then this is what's going to happen. You're going to be exposed for being a fucking dirtbag that everybody already knows that you are. It's disgusting. You are a mess. And you have no right to ever say anything negative about Britney. They did not have bottle rot teeth because of Britney. They had because of you. They were in your custody for the majority of the time. So... And also, like, I'm not saying that he can't hook up because, girl, listen, parents still get horny, honey. If they want to have a one-night stand, girl, go right ahead. You know, be safe, be happy, do what you need to do to get your fix, and that's it. Like, I'm, no, I'm not shaming that. But damn, you can't take her to the bedroom. You can't take her to the fucking, at least the damn bathroom. You know what I mean? The kids are probably sleeping in their crib, so why are in their room? Why can't you take her to your bedroom? So it feels to me... That this is like a thing that he did. You know what I mean? Allegedly, of course. I was not there. This is her side. But my opinion, my gut feeling is telling me this is this wasn't a first time thing. And you know what? I just honestly feel like, look, do whatever you want to do. It, just because you have kids does not mean your life is over. Does not mean you can't party. Does not mean you can't hook up. Does not mean you can't have fun. But I don't want nobody to sit there and, and, and say, oh, such a good parent. And his lawyer saying, if anyone had any, um, if anyone's, uh, what, what, what did this dumbass say? Um, uh, his children turned out the way they were because of him, because of his amazing work at home. Girl, no. You know what I mean? Absolutely not. And, and it just annoys me so much that like having this like, making the world believe you're Mr. Perfect and you're so dedicated to your children. It's a full-time job. Bitch, you had nannies. You had securities. And you had hookups taking care of your damn children. Allegedly. Anyways, bitch, what do you guys think? Um, First of all, I'm just like, I'm disgusted by Kevin Federline. I, I always say this. I think that um, it's so blatantly obvious that instead of him telling his kids 
what a strong survivor their mom is for surviving a 13 year like prison sentence. He is allowing them to get upset over some Instagram pictures. They are still minors. You can be like, listen, this is the way that she is. She has been in, in literally in, in jail for 13 years. If she wants to show a topless picture on a fucking yacht, that is your mama. She is a strong motherfucker. And she has survived so much. All right. You should be proud of her. Go see your mother. All right. But don't do a fucking interview and, and say, I just want my children to stay out of the limelight and stay out of the ridicule online and of the press. But you are doing a sit down interview. Oh my God, like something is going on with your Jack Daniels, boo-boo, because it is not connecting. I mean, you must wake up and you must be thinking if two plus two is, if, if two, if two plus two is four and five plus five is 10, what the fuck is my life? Kevin Federline, sit your ass down and go on Craigslist and get a job. All right, you guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. And again, listen, this was her story. I'm not, I was not there. I'm not alleging this is true. This is her story. This is what she claims. And um, I'm just here to talk about her side of the story and what I think. So I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.